Hello friends, friends today we will discuss the difference between displacement current and conduction current. I have discussed about the displacement current and displacement current density in Maxwell's fourth equation. Today we will discuss in detail about this concept again. So to discuss the difference between the conduction current and the displacement current. Now let us have a RC network. Let us have a RC circuit or RC network. Now what is the meaning of RC network? We will draw a diagram having capacitance. We will draw a diagram having capacitance C and the resistor R and the resistor R. Okay. And this circuit is connected to a alternating voltage to a alternating voltage supply V. Current passing through R is IC and current passing through C is ID. Okay. Now this is our RC network. Now suppose the current through the resistor R is IC and by Ohm's law it is given by IC equals to V by R because IC is known as conduction current. The current passing through the conductor or the resistor like uh, in our homes there are uh, wires, aluminium, copper wires and the current passing through them is known as the conduction current that is due to the, due to the conduction electrons. Okay, and the current passing through the capacitor, suppose it is ID and it is given by DQ by DT and this is given by C dV by DT because DQ is equals to C dV because Q is equals to CV you have learned in your low class equation number one this is our equation number one in practice now what in practice in practice the current does not flow through the capacitor the current does not flow through the capacitor but the current that flows out of one electrode the current that flows out of one electrode of capacitor equals the current that flows into the other electrode these are the two electrodes the current that flows out of one electrode is equal to the, the current that flows into the electrode the resultant effect is as if there is a current flowing through the capacitor the resultant is that that is if there is a current that flows into the uh, that flowing through the capacitor okay the path containing the capacitor okay so this is you can say uh, it seems that the current is flowing through the capacitor okay and through the resistor the current IC actually flows the current IC actually flows through the resistor therefore from the above result we can conclude that current flowing through the resistor is known as conduction current and the current flowing through the capacitor is known as displacement current and this current obeys Ohm's law. I repeat the current that flows through the resistor is known as conduction current and the current that flows through the capacitor is known as displacement current is known as displacement current okay so on what factors uh, these two currents or the current densities due to these two currents depend uh, let us discuss those factors now the mathematical proof now the mathematical proof earlier we have discussed about the qualitative proof now as the electric field inside each element equals the equals the voltage divided by the its length okay voltage divided by the length okay 
सो ई इज इक्वल टू वी बाई डी और वी इज इक्वल टू ए डी इक्वेशन नंबर टू ना द करंट डेंसिटी इन द रजिस्टर इज गिवन बाय जे सी इज इक्वल टू आई सी बाय ए और इट इज आल्सो नोन एज सिग्मा इनटू ई सिग्मा इनटू ई दिस इज नोन एज पॉइंट फॉर्म ऑफ ऑम्स लॉ दिस इज नथिंग दिस इज बेसिकली वीज इक्वल टू आई आर यू कैन जस्ट कन्वर्ट इन टू वीज इक्वल आई आर प्लीज ट्राई इट ओके सो दिस इज सिग्मा इज कंडक्टिविटी इज इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड सो दिस इज पॉइंट फॉर्म ऑफ ऑम्स लॉ हेयर ए इज द एरिया क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया एंड सिग्मा इज द कंडक्टिविटी ओके दिस इज अवर इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री Also, capacitance is given by C is equals to epsilon naught a by d. Capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor is given by C is equals to epsilon naught a by d. Now, rewrite equation number one. Now, what was equation number one? Equation number one was I d is equals to C d v by d t. This was our equation number one. Now, put the value of v and C. From equation two and four, in this equation, this was our equation number one. Basically, put equation, put one, uh, sorry, put two and four in equation number one. So I D will be equals to epsilon naught a by d d curly e by curly t or epsilon naught a curly e by curly t equation number 5 because this is cancel out therefore current density current density inside capacitor is gd gd equals to id by a current density is gd equals to id by a now put equation number 5 in this equation Put equation number five in this equation. So J D is equals to epsilon naught a epsilon naught a by a curly e by curly t epsilon naught a by a curly t by curly t cancel out epsilon naught curly e by curly t J D. Remember Maxwell's fourth equation. When the Maxwell introduced the concept of displacement current density, there again was result was same. That is epsilon naught curly e by curly t or curly d by curly t because because d equals to epsilon naught e. Okay, and the and the conduction current density is given by sigma into e, sigma into e. Okay, so conduction current density depends. upon the electric field but the displacement current density depends upon the rate of change of electric field okay so this is basically the concept of displacement current and the difference between the conduction current and the displacement current the current that passes through the resistor is known as conduction current the current that passes through the capacitor is known as the displacement current i hope you have understood if there is any doubt please share in the comment section thank you thanks a lot